Hey guys, um, so this week on Hello Harto, there's not going to be any jokes. We're actually going to give you a true to life documentary of what shooting Hello Harto, shooting My Drunk Kitchen, and doing the volunteer meetups is actually like. So, um, please enjoy. <laughs> Just get thrown glamour shots. Uh -huh. We just got pulled over by the uh, ever ready and vigilant Ohio State Police. Trump is like, what are you doing? I'm like, going on a volunteer tour around America. For what? Uh, my YouTube show? What's your YouTube show called? Mm. Hello Harto. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's no room for the people anymore. <laughs> I'm sitting on cans. <laughs> Hello Harto is made of three main components. First, we're shooting My Drunk Kitchen in the homes of fans. Hello! 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 Nailed it! So far, it's been totally amazing to meet parents, college students, puppeteers, all the amazing people that we've met shooting My Drunk Kitchen around the country. Two, we thought this was gonna be a very straightforward travel show of Hannah eating something going, mmm, this pizza from Chicago is great. Hannah changed the concept to a behind the scenes of the travel show that we were supposed to be shooting. So everything's improvised and made up sort of on the fly. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Let's start with <laughs> And three, the most important part of the tour is our volunteer meetup. And we do one in every city that we stop in and shoot an episode in. And that's really become sort of the driving pulse behind the tour. We took all the data from where all of our donations had come in from and we put it into a map. And I think that's when it sort of crystallized how much this whole thing was driven by the fans. We have a lot that we're trying to fit into this tour. A typical day wake starts with all of us waking up. It's morning time. We're about to hit the road again. Piling into the RV and heading to our next city. Normally when we're in the car, Sam is editing the most recent episode of Hello Harto, and I'm calling ahead trying to find locations for our future events. This would not be possible if everybody on the crew wasn't willing to take on as many jobs as they do. If one of us was different or was missing, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Rather than doing traditional meetups where we maybe meet in a room and Hannah talks to people for a few minutes, that we would try to harness all the good energy that everyone on tour has and put it to good use. And so we decided to do volunteer meetups at food banks. And I'm very fortunate to have an online community that um, thinks that's a cool idea too. point in the tour we have sort of seen or been part of every part of the operation of a food bank. We've done food drives, we've sorted said food at the food bank itself, repacked bulk produce that has come in, we've made little bins that contain meals for families that they can pick up, and we've even served folks in dining rooms face to face. You think that what you're doing is a tiny little part, but what you don't understand sometimes is how that plays into the whole picture. The meetup today means that 160 plus people that probably didn't know uh, what the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank is and does now, now know. So I think this is really gonna provide us a, a great opportunity um, to kind of reach out to people that we might not um, have been able to get to. And I see thousands of people walk through here. 99% of the time they're leaving with a smile on their face because they felt something that they didn't feel before and that's that sense of significance in being able to help another person. 
I'm Hannah. I'm to actually do meaningful work based around hunger and all that stuff, I thought was really, really cool. I think it's great. Um, I think it really says something about Hannah and sort of where her priorities lie. I love that, you know, you could, I guess, like, you know, if you had superpowers, would you use them for good or for evil? And, and Hannah clearly uses her superpower for good. And she's really genuine and yeah. she has a, a story that I think a lot of people can relate to. Remaining positive and energetic and really trying to help other people. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really grateful to you guys for taking the time out of your days to come and do this with me. It's a total privilege. We are the lucky ones to be able to choose to do this and to not be on the other side of that. We were able to pack 6,401 pounds of food. Now that's Cheers to you guys and for being members of this awesome, awesome community. We always have these moments where we step back and we're like, what lucky bastards we are. Because of these other people that I'm with, this works. And because of the people that have contributed and show up at the volunteer events, it works. So everybody thanks me. Everybody says thank you to me. And I just want to be like, no, it's not me. It's everybody. Like, we are, it's a we. Really, it does come down to, I guess, unity around helping others. And if we can do that together, there's more power in that. It's more than just Hannah, it's bigger. And uh, it takes a lot of people to do that. You know, I feel like everybody's picture of the internet is, is that it's very solitary, lonely thing. But mine is the opposite. I actually think that it's about bringing people together. Speaking of smiling. Hey! But I don't think it's called that anymore. I mean, really, that seems a bit melodramatic, no? I gave her a big embrace, and a piece of her hair lingered on my shoulder. I might still have it. <laughs> <laughs>